Happy folks here at OS Reviews. So it's 2017 and it seems like everything has to be smart in terms of its capabilities. And with backpacks and luggages, it's really no exception. We've checked out smart luggages in the past and now it's time for a smart backpack. So today we're taking a quick look at a review of the Track Shell. So Track is a company that specializes in these smart power bank as well as Bluetooth accessories that you can find. They're all unique and they're all in-house as far as the design is concerned. The Shell is one of their backpacks which you can pick up for under $250 and it makes for a decent camping or outdoor option by combining a of course a speaker on the back of the backpack of course a travel companion so it's a backpack itself that carries your laptop your essential chargers and cables and passports in addition to being an LED light as well as a um, USB power bank, so you can plug it in, plug in your phone for some emergency power using the speaker's battery. So it's a lot of features stacked into one. Now this one does not have, you know, GPS tracking, tagging, or some location services built in, so it's not smart in that sense. But it's really meant as an entertainment um, and a music-based smart bag. So let's take a quick look. This is what the packaging looks like, and as you can see, you get this waterproof acrylic plastic sheath as part of the packaging, and you can just open this up to get the backpack. The first thing I noticed about the backpack is really its design. It's more of a smaller compact backpack than something you would carry around on a day-to-day -day basis, maybe for school or for um, heavy luggage and transportation. It really is quite small. So they have a water bottle over here. You can kind of get a size comparison of how small this is. Um, about one and a half the length of a regular kind of Brita sized water bottle. So it's not going to fit a 15 inch laptop. It's not going to fit tons of accessories and clothing really meant as an ultra portable for traveling light. So it can fit a MacBook, a MacBook Air, an ultra portable laptop without any problems. So the shell is also made out of this waterproof material, which you can see instead of a traditional fabric. It's a hard shell that uh, reminds me of um, more expensive headphone cases you might see. And you can see that there are a few grills located on the front here for where the music will blast out um, to, you know, if you have to set it down on, on a desk uh, where someone can be listening or if you're kind of walking, you can kind of hear it around you. Um, otherwise, it is very well made as far as the construction is concerned, but that's kind of expected since the price point isn't exactly cheap. Although if you try to buy all of these cards separately, um, you do get a very similar price point. So it's also not too expensive or too outrageous either. So on the very top here, you have the company's logo, Shrek, which is made out of this uh, nice rubber material. It makes it easier to open and close the backpack. And the very back features these straps that you can adjust to get a more comfortable fit when you are traveling or walking around. You can walk with these, I would say, for about a few hours, and it still remains pretty comfortable. The pads are fairly thick and durable along the back, also on the straps, so fairly generous as far as the padding is concerned. Um, these can be adjusted to get, get, again, a more comfortable fit depending on you know, how far you want it down on your back. And there's also a tag that you can kind of rip off with a QR code to learn more about the company. So let's open up this bag and take a quick look at the insides and in terms of what the compartments are like. So opening things up vertically, we have on the inside some extra pockets for storing some passports, paper, and documentation. And in here, we also have some basic instruction guides from Trek about using the smart backpack. So it tells you how to pair it using Bluetooth with your phone. It tells you where the drivers as well as the batteries are located. And it tells you that you can pop in a micro SD card directly into the speaker module for listening to music. So if you don't want to sync it wirelessly to a phone, you have the ability to use it as a dedicated MP3 player, which is pretty cool. The color lamp function it has an LED light in here, which allows you to flash and strobe, acts as a nice mood lighting, as well as syncs with the music, which is pretty cool. It supports power uh, charging, USB 2.0, 5 volts, 1 amp. So good enough for smaller devices like an Android phone or an iPhone, not good enough for a larger tablet or a power hungry ultra portable. The battery compartment size is rated at 5,200 million hours, which is uh, fairly large and it can play audio up to 12 hours. And uh, afterwards it is again, five watts for the drivers, which are pretty large and impressive. So. Those are all the main core features. In here, we have the cables, including micro USB for charging the speaker module. In addition, there is an auxiliary cable if you don't want to use wireless Bluetooth for syncing to an audio source. 
So this is what the internal pocket is like. There's another pocket on the very outside here that you can open up and you get a nice idea of uh, where the speakers and the electronics are located, basically in here. Fairly large. You can see this is where most of the space is uh, reserved for this unit, where we have axes on the top here for the output, for the power, for charging LEDs, power on off. This is a mechanical Wait. play key. So you can hear that that's where that kicks in. The light kind of turns on. We'll do a bit more of a video test on that later. Auxiliary inputs if you don't want to use Bluetooth. So this entire thing is uh, sealed in place in the back of the shell. So this is what this looks like. Micro SD card is also located on the top. So if you want to charge your phone, it's probably going to be somewhere near this compartment so the cable doesn't get too ridiculously long. Um, and that's how that works. Voice guided prompts. So it's going to tell you whenever you're in a pairing mode or something like that. Unfortunately, that's not a feature that can be turned off at this moment. Let's loop things around and take a look at the front of the backpack and the other side or the other half and what you get. So this is a more traditional half that you have access to things like cards where you can pop in your ID in addition to wallets and things like that, ballpoint pens, things like uh, basic utilities, and finally a main compartment which is made out of felt for your ultra portable or your laptop. Let's do a quick test of a smaller 13 to 12 inch device and show you guys that it does indeed fit. Here I have a Chromebook and I'm going to slip it onto the top inside this compartment and indeed it tucks into place after applying a little bit of force. So this is what it looks like. And then I can pop in some cards in addition and it will basically work. Um, I can also pop it into the center pocket without anything really holding it into place, but that's not super recommended. So you can see that a laptop, a smaller one at least, definitely does fit well and will work. So let's pop on the speaker and show you guys the pairing process. Waiting for the connection. And you can see that when it's turned on, it's going to try to pair immediately. And there is a little bit of static and distortion, but the mood lighting is also on. So if I turn the lights off, you can see that it slowly glows back and forth between multiple colors. I can see the two drivers right here. Um, it's uh, pretty bright, but it's not bright enough to be used for reading or anything more as an interesting effect, a cool effect, conversation starter, uh, but good enough maybe for some ambient light if you are walking in the dark, let's say. That's the basic uh, mood lighting part that uh, you can cycle through and set to a specific color, but you can't control it more extensively um, in terms of a specific tone or customizing it like a smart light. So that's what it's used for. It's not a notification light or anything like that, but it does work and a pretty cool addition. Let's try pairing it to Bluetooth. Alright, so hopefully that gives you guys a quick idea of what the audio experience is like for these speakers. As you can see here, one feature I forgot to mention previously was the remote. It's tucked away, it's a flat ribbon wire that prevents tangling, but this essentially allows you to adjust the volume as well as play and pause your music. There's also a built-in microphone on this remote control, which means you can answer phone calls as well when they're incoming, which is pretty cool. There's a clip so you can attach it onto a belt for easy to access when you're just walking or camping or even hiking, and you can turn the light on or off directly on the front for energy consumption purposes. I can also change the volume very easily from the front here. Summary of the other performances, the power bank does work pretty well, I would say. Uh, you can charge up an Android phone in under two hours. The iPhone 7 charged up in under 3.5 hours in our charging performance tests. And for a larger tablet, uh, it works, but it takes a bit longer since it's only one amp and not 2.1 amps. 
Um, otherwise, as far as the performance of the speaker, as you heard, it's good. It gets pretty loud. It's quite dynamic. It's a stereo speaker, but it is a little bit tinny. If you turn the volume all the way up, you'll notice that there isn't quite as much bass or thump. It's not quite as rich sounding as we would have liked it to be. But of course, this is really meant as an outdoor speaker, and it's not as an audiophile exclusive Bluetooth uh, speaker. So some of these quirks are forgiven, especially since this is also waterproof, so that when rain falls in, it still works really well and there's no degradation in the quality. Um, um, just a little bit of static if you really hear or listen super closely, that's something to keep in mind. But otherwise, we are impressed with the shell because it's really one of the most unique backpacks we've seen. It's not perfect, it's not for everyone, not everyone will enjoy you know, playing back music on, on this part uh, of the backpack, but for music lovers, for people who go outdoors, hiking, traveling, want some inspirational music playing in the background, also want it to be an all-in-one design with a light in addition to a power bank um, and a waterproof backpack, will definitely like what they're seeing here. Quite innovative, especially with this built-in remote control that's easy to use and to access. Um, so you can check out more details about the Tech Track Smart Backpack in our official written review, but for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This is the